Will this work perfectly? I think it will work perfectly. Okay then, there we go, rock and load. Okay. Oh, hi everybody. How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching my video, at least in a way. At least I really try to make this variation every now and then, even though it doesn't never come out the way I want it. Sometimes it never comes out clear. Or sometimes when I think about stuff, it's like it comes out naturally. It's like, whew, smooth run. It's a very smooth transaction all the way. <laughs> Okay, this is what I've actually been thinking about. Living off the grid, one day microchips, RFID, is gonna actually roll out one day and everybody's gonna have to be enforced having to take it. It's gonna happen eventually where everybody is gonna actually replace everything. Your cash, social security, your ID, your every little thing, everything. Everything is gonna be free. You can't work no more, you can't sell stuff, you can't buy stuff, you can it's like like freaking Cayman style. I was like, what am I supposed to do? I was like, when it actually goes viral, when it goes out insane, it's like everything is going narrow. It's like, oh my gosh, I better just kick it. Let's go. Okay, this is what I'm gonna see. It's like, okay, we're gonna start from here. Okay, wait. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to get a backpack? Am I going to get some weapons? Am I going to get some food? Am I going to get some melatonin? Am I going to get a sleeping bag? Can I go? Alright, let's go! Wait, where am I going to go? This is actually going to happen. Eventually, maybe, who knows when, when, <laughs> when microchips, <coughs> when the RFID, <laughs> it's going to go, you know, everywhere where it's like, oh, you can't go to work without the chip. You can't go get in your vehicle without the chip. You can't fly anywhere without the chip. You can't go food shopping without the chip. You can't do this. You can't do that. And it's all in the freaking Bible. It's all in the freaking Bible. Bible, 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 Bible. It's like, you can't buy or sell without the mark of the beast. Okay? And well, eventually it's going to actually happen. And you're not going to like it. I'm sure I wouldn't like it because... I'm already aware of it. I was like, oh boy, this is actually gonna happen. It's just like a stepping stone into that direction right now because it's practically in the fight way anyway. It's like, okay, I don't like the sound of this. <laughs> and this is actually gonna happen eventually. And I was like, Oh, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Am I going to doors and mountain? It's like, oh, I don't know, but this is going to be so weird. I better just, just pack up and supply myself. I was like, maybe this is just overstock on a lot of crap and especially melatonin. I'm only going to do about drinking water, especially there's not going to be much water anywhere because I'm in a freaking desert for crying out loud. I don't live by a stream. I don't live by the ocean or lakes, especially there might be like lots of, ooh. Like, I don't know what those, some things you do not want to drink out of. It could be anything. I can't actually think of the word. It could be parasites, for I know. Parasites, salt, anything. <laughs> it's like, dang, this is going to be very hard. It's like, you got, it's like survival skills. You got to know everything before you go live off the grid you, I mean we don't live off the grid you need to know your survival skills you gotta know how to cook I mean you gotta it's like oh my god it's just be so weird it's like caiman style it's like am I gonna be a freaking caiman now it's like oh my gosh living in freaking stone age <laughs> oh man this is weird I'm not gonna like it because I'm not prepared for anything like survival uh, skills and and living off the grid and everything like and it, 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 I mean no more phones no more oh my gosh no more phones oh my gosh can't have no more phones you got and because if you have a phone you're gonna be tracked down by the freaking government because there's gonna be very few force it's like everywhere it's like. How, where am I going to be invisible where the government is not going to try to find you? And I was like, once we find you, break, I'm going to kill you because you haven't took the mark or the chip RFID. I was like, oh boy, this is really gone now strong. It's gone now mad. I'm mad because I can't find the right stuff. It's like, oh, great.
This is not going to be easy no more. Oh my gosh. Hi, Heidi. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so weird. <coughs> I mean, I had a good day at the fitness gym, you know. Church was all right. Just talk about prayer and being in deep in prayer and communication with God and, you know, crying out to God and whatnot. That's really cool stuff, but... You know, I haven't done very much of that anyway, since I've been weak in my faith. But of course, I'm like, here I am telling you all what the Bible actually tells me. It's like, one day RFID will be in place where it's going to replace everything. Right now, we are just in a, the real ID. After the real ID, it's an RFID. What the hell? RFID is just the next step away before we have to go live outside for life forever till we die. Or at least until unless we don't get captured by the government agency who's gonna like, probably kill you or chip you. Like, I'm gonna go and chip you. No, 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 I don't wanna do that. That'd be bad on me. That'd be bad on you. Well, technically bad on you. <laughs> because it's gonna, you know, if you took the chip, you're pretty much dead. I mean, dead to the rocks. And you don't want that in your life. For sure. Because it's really gonna jeopardize your salvation, your eternity, everything with it. So that really plays a key role on your life. It's like RFID is a doomsday to your eternity. It's almost like you're pretty much doomed if you take the RFID. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's a really bad thing to think about. I, mean, I don't want to think about it because I want to live a normal life. But I don't think that's going like, to happen because... Our RFID is going to actually happen, and we definitely will have to live off the grid. We will all have to live off the grid if we want to avoid the RFID, the microchip, the micro, or whatever. Because it's actually going to happen eventually, probably in this century, at least. And maybe you should know that already, because it's all written in the Bible already. It's like, oh... That's already been written in the Bible. Everything that is actually going to come has already been said in the Bible. It's like, oh, great. So that part's already going to unveil itself eventually. And we're all going to have to differ living in the woods or in the wilderness. Or I'm going to have to learn how to kill animals so I can eat them and know how to filter out water. Because that's going to be a big factor in the future, that is. Everything that's going to actually, it's all, it's it's all going to happen eventually. It's all going to happen. And we're just taking our time. You know, I don't know why we're taking all the time. Because what happens if the RFID comes in 20, 30 years later and you finally, finally paid off your own house and the RFID comes out like that. I was like, ah, really? I wasted all my life trying to pay out this house. Now the RFID comes out and now I have to live off the grid. I'm like, now I have to go vacate my house because RFID microchip deal is already coming out like in full force where money is no, it's practically useless. Money, cash will be useless because RFID will be a big hit eventually in the future. It has to be a certain president that is actually going to make you take it. A certain president will eventually will make you take the chip. And that will be considered as the one world government. Where the president will be in control of the entire planet. There's like one president to rule the world. 
one certain president will actually do that. But right now, it's not that. Trump is not doing that right now because he's not that special president that will turn our world into one world government yet. At least we're not there yet. Just be thankful for that. And you don't want that to happen right away because I don't think you're ready. Are you ready for that? I don't know. I'm not ready for it because I don't know what to do. I mean, I wish I couldn't know what to do, but it's hard to say. I had to figure everything out. <laughs> How to live off the grid. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a chore. It's gonna be homework. I that's gonna be some homework in advance. I'm like, I got to know everything. I got to know everything. How to eat meat so like from from killing it right away and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so weird. Oh my gosh. Yes, all roads are gonna be it. Crazy scary, but but what if God doesn't really want us to be like that? What happens if we do actually get raptured? I don't know. Maybe that's just easy way out of the the um tribulation. Maybe that's just a way out of tribulation before they <laughs> come into the one world government. I don't know though. I mean, that'd be a like easy thing to think about. That depends if this, if cards don't work, cash don't work. They only use this RFID microchip where you can't buy or can't sell, can't get in the vehicle, can't get into your job. You can't access, I mean, banks will be <clears throat> in one chip. Everything, everything will be in one little chip. Everything, your whole life, your everything. Will be one chair, everything. The government's gonna know the back of your hand, and it's already on the back of your hand, cause it's gonna really jeopardize you. Thank you for letting me say that to you, because it's actually gonna happen in this lifetime, cause the Bible said so. I mean, it's gonna happen. Our fighters are to come out in some states. It's just like coming to like Danny Lions or whatnot. But I don't want to think about it because I'm not ready for it. But we'll see what happens in that time frame. And thank you for watching me, even though I didn't get much views. Bye bye.